print photos on your ribbon. That's what we're talking about today. It's Sue, and you are watching Ribbon Print Tales. This is the place to be to learn everything you need to know to use your ribbon printer easily, confidently, and profitably. And as many of you know, we go out to trade shows all the time, and people are shocked when they come by the booth and they see ribbons printed with photos on them. Let's jump right in on how to print photos on ribbon. What we're going to cover is what types of photos to use, how to edit them, how to import them into the design and print software program, and we're actually going to do a live demo on that, how to enhance printed ribbon images, and tips for best results. So first up, where do I get my photos? The obvious one, directly from your camera. Second, from your phone. A lot of people now are using their phones as their camera, and those photos are absolutely perfect. Sometimes better even than what you get from your camera. Third, social media. Lots of pictures are placed online, and you can pull from news feeds. I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But one caution here, make sure you have legal rights to be using those pictures. I think pictures from friends are fine, but if you're getting pictures from some type of larger business newsfeed, I would check it out first and really think to make sure whether that's appropriate or not. And finally, pictures of photos. And I have an example of that as we move on here as well. Okay, I'm going to start with just a few little demonstrations of different types of things you can do with photos on ribbon and then get into the software. So this first one, this is my son and daughter, David and Nicole, and here's just a picture we took hanging out, I guess we were out to dinner one night. I took that picture on my iPhone, I then converted it into a black and white photo using a graphic editing program. I happen to like Photoshop. And then I did nothing else but enhance it with some wording here. And now you can see, here's the photo, and some wording, a special bond, brother and sister. This was printed on one and three quarter inch ribbon and it's gray foil that we use, so a gray imprint. That's why the image is a little lighter. It actually looks great in person, a little bit better than you're seeing here. Let's move on, another picture taken by my phone, flowers. It's winter here in Chicago right now, so this is a really pretty picture to me. But these were just flowers from our garden. I also took this directly on my phone, converted it to black and white, which you see right here. And then all I did once I brought it into the software is placed the images side by side so they overlapped just the tiniest bit. And here you can see it looks just like a continual border of flowers. Let's look at another example. Here's an image, isn't this an adorable dog? This is one of my son's friend's dog, and he posted this on his Facebook news feed. So that's where I pulled it from. And since it's from a friend, I feel absolutely comfortable using this photo. I brought it into Photoshop, converted it to black and white. And then the final result here, I did one picture without a border and then another picture with a border. And I'll show you how to do that again when we get into the software. Another example, picture taken by my phone. Now this is Tiger, my little puppy. He's a Pomeranian. And this picture was taken by my phone. I once again went in and changed it to black and white. I also, though, lightened the photo a little bit and cropped it because I wanted to get a little more of a close-up of his face. And here's the resulting ribbon. And I added in a new family member. Wouldn't this be an adorable type of picture on a gift basket or something if you were welcoming in a new family dog? Very cute. And this I printed with coffee foil because Tiger's black and brown, so I thought that would look cute with the ribbon. And finally, 
You can also take a picture of a picture. Here, I've taken pictures of my daughter when she was younger, and these pictures are actually photographs hanging in my house. So with my phone, I took a picture of a picture, converted them to black and white once again, and then in the images that you see here, this is just the black and white, and then below, I put some frames on it and jazzed it up a little bit within the software. And I want to show you how to do that, so we're going to convert over to the software right now. Here we are in the Design and Print software, and I want to show you how to import photography and then do a little bit of advanced designing. We're going to start off by creating a new ribbon. It's going to be a four inch ribbon. I'm going to move this down just to give us a little bit of room here. And now I'm going to add in an image. Depending on whether you've been using the software for a while, you may have a lot of these folders already or not. I'm not going to go into how to create folders because that's not the topic of this tutorial. But we're going to go into a folder that I already have called Photographs. So that's where I want to import my photo. So I'm going to say Import into Photos. And then I just go onto my computer and find that photo. Here's the photo that I want to bring in. So I say open. Now with logos, you might be used to using this scroller bar to make your logo look a little sharper. With photography, do not use this scroller bar. It'll mess up your photo and you will not be happy with the results. So just leave it where it is, don't touch it. Say import, and now this new photo is in the file that you've designated. I'm going to select it and add it on into my ribbon. So here it is. I also want to add in another image that I previously imported. So there I've got this one here now. And now I, oh, let's leave it like that. And now I want to do a little bit of advanced designing. I want to put some borders around these images. And to do that, I'm going to go into image and select shapes and I want the square. I'm going to bring it in and then size it as I would like. And I think it's going to be easier for me to size it if I send it to the back. So it's behind my picture. And then as you can see I'm sizing it so that it's just showing up on two of the four sides. You see right there and there. So I've got that. I'm going to copy and paste it so I have a second one. And I'm going to do the same thing here with this other photo. I'm going to send it to the back. Whoops. Make it a little bit smaller. Move it up a little bit. Oh, let's see. I don't have to get it perfect for this video, I just want to give you the idea. So now you have a border here and here, and here and here. Okay, now I'm going to add in a star. Oops, where did the stars go? There they are. First one, which is going to be kind of the background star. Then another. which I'm going to overlap like that. Make it a little bigger. Then I'm going to add in some text. And I'm going to make it bold and reverse it out because I want it to go and reverse out of the star. And finally, I think I'll add in another image. Let's see, maybe I'll just go into stock. Here's a butterfly. I'm going to add it in. Size it up. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. And there you have it. 
photo with borders, a star and customizing it a little bit, and this is the ribbon that I printed before. And that's all there is to it. A couple of things I want to show you before we're all done, and that is the foils that work best when you're doing photography. Now this is a guideline only. There are other foils that work. You saw that I've already printed in black, but these are foils that look like they adhere to the ribbon when you have when you're laying down as much foil as you do with a photograph. These just seem to be the ones that come out the best. So by all means don't limit yourself, but if you have some of these foil colors already, work with these first to see what you can come up with. And finally, some tips for best results. What are they? When importing into the software, do not use the scroller bar to make the image darker. We covered that when we were in the software. Converting an image to black and white is your best choice for a good result. A photo with a lot of dark space is going to cause the foil to stick to the ribbon a little bit when it's printing. So watch out for that. And this varies from photograph to photograph, so you really have to see depending on what artwork you're using. And although you can do a lot, nothing beats a good initial photo. So do your best to get the, the best photo that you possibly can in terms of contrast and then converting it as we've talked about already to black and white. And finally, and I harp on this all the time I know, Charge for the time you put into editing an image when you're applying it to personalized ribbon. As you can see, there are even more steps with photography than there might be for a logo. So make sure to consider this in your pricing to your customer. So there you have it, how to do images and photography on ribbon. And I just wanted to close out here with a beautiful package that I put together with myself and a friend of mine, Claudia. We were together and this is just a little gift showing my appreciation for her hospitality. I was out visiting her in San Diego and it shows you a picture of us with our ribbon and my very special message to her. How exciting would this be for your business to be able to offer this type of customization to your customers? So now you too know the secret about how to print photos on ribbon. Try it out. And speaking of new and exciting things to do with ribbon, make sure to catch next month's video, another really exciting thing you can do with ribbon that I know you have not seen before. We'll catch you then. Bye-bye.